Hi friends, happy Friday. I hope you're having a good day um, and you have an awesome weekend. Let's talk about what we are going to be doing today in Esau class. So we have been talking all about the story, The Empty Pot, and we learned about the characters and some of the personality traits they have on the inside this week. And now today we're going to be talking about the author's message. So what is the author trying to tell us in this story? Many times the author has maybe one or more than one message that they want the reader to understand after reading the story. Let's take a look at our objective today. Today is a new month. It is May 1st, 2020, and our objective says we will support the central message. Okay, that's what the author is trying to tell us. We will support the central message of the story, the empty pot, using evidence. So that's using proof, evidence from the text. So we're going to have to go back to the story and we're gonna have to look for words that prove our central message, okay? Before we do that, I wanna think about two questions. Um, I want to be thinking about these two questions. Is Chen a good person? Okay, I want you to think about that question. Think about the personality traits, the character traits that we identified for Chen. Hmm. And do those traits make him a good person or a not so good person? What do you think? Okay, think about that question for a minute. See if you can remember the character traits that we identified for Chen yesterday or two days ago. And then what happens to Chen at the end of the story? What was the resolution of the story? Okay, did it end up happily for Chen or not so much? Hmm. Let's think about this. I'm going to tell you what I think. Is Chen a good person? I'm going to say yes. But I'm not going to stop there. I'm going to say because. Yes. Because. Yes. He is a good person because. Hmm, why? What were his character traits? We identified three. Can you remember one of them? What was Chen like? Because he is, I remember one thing he was, he was honest, he told the truth. Because he is honest, he was hard working. He tried really hard to make that seed grow. And he was brave. All of these personality traits are good traits to have. It is good to be honest. It is good to be hardworking. And it is good to be brave. Okay? So that's my reason why I think he is a good person. Let's look at our second question. What happens to Chen at the end of the story? Hmm. Do you remember what happened? Did he go home to live with his mom? What happened to him? Think about it. Let's go back. Can give you some clues if we're not sure. Let's go to the end of the story. Oh, 
Chen and his mother went to live at the palace. Every day, Chen and the emperor worked in the palace garden together. When Chen became emperor, he cared for China, just as he was always he had always cared for his own garden. Okay, was that a happy ending for Chen? Yeah, I think so. I would agree. It's a happy ending. So what happens to Chen? Chen becomes what? What is a leader called in China? Chen becomes the emperor at the end of the story. He becomes the leader. So let's see. What does that show us about the message? We know he's a good person, and then he has a happy ending, the end of the story. So what do you think the author is trying to tell us? What do you think the author wants us to know? I've identified it down here in one sentence. Good people like Chen are rewarded. Can you say that word rewarded? Rewarded means that they're kind of given an award. They're um, good things happen to them. Okay. Good people are rewarded. We're going to see if we can find evidence in the story to support this message, this central message. Let's see what we can find. Okay. So first we want to find things that tell us that Chen is a good person from the story. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's see if we can find ways that he is a good person. Okay. One of his traits was hardworking. So can we find evidence that he was hardworking? Hmm. What did he do? Did he go, did he plant the seed that the emperor gave him and then go play with his friends? Or did he just leave it there and just wait until the day before he had to go to the palace? No, what did he do? He tried really hard to get the plant to grow. Um, so if I'm looking at this picture, I remember this picture was important because it really showed how hardworking Chen is. What did he do? I see he's close to a well of water. And let's see what the words tell us. Chen carried his pot five miles to a well that was famous for having sweet, fresh water. So I think an important point to show that he's hardworking is Chen Let's make this a little smaller because I don't think we'll have enough space. Chen carried the pot five miles to water. And since we're showing evidence here, let's write the page number. I'm going to write page. See the page number at the bottom? We found this evidence on page eight. So I'm going to write page eight because this is my proof that Chen is hard working. That's one way that he was brave. And let me write the character trait hard working right here to remind myself that Chen is hard working. Chen carried the pot five miles to water. We found that on page eight. And it shows that he is hard working. What else um, shows that Chen is a good person? Can we go back to the book? Hmm. Okay. 
What else? On this page, I remember just by looking at the picture that Chen's feeling really upset. Look at his face. He's like, he doesn't want to be there when he sees all of these beautiful plants. He wants to go home. It says he wanted to run back home, but he calmed himself down remembering his mother's words. He decided to stay where he was. Do you remember what that shows us about what kind of person he is? When he is wanting to go home, but he decides to stay, that shows that he is brave, okay? So I'm going to put that in words and I'm gonna remember that this is on page 11. This is my evidence to show that he is brave. So let me put another little note and I'm going to say, Chen wanted to run home, but he stayed at the palace. And we found that on page 11. And that showed us that Chen is brave. Very good. I don't know if I can. Let's see. There we go. All right. Oop. Hmm. I don't know why it's not working. Let's try it again. Brave. There we go. Okay, so now we know that he's hardworking, he's brave, and our other character trait, we said that he is up here, honest. That means that he tells the truth. So now I need to go back and I need to find evidence, I need to prove in the story that he is honest. So I'm going to go back to my story and turn the page. Hmm, this is where the emperor is getting angrier and angrier. And Chen explains that he could not get the seed to grow. And the emperor is overjoyed. He says, this honest, brave child told me the simple truth. Okay, so these words show us that Chen was honest. And we found that evidence on page 14. I'm going to write those words in here. Let's see. I'm going to write it like this. Chen told the emperor the truth that the seed would not grow and we found that on page 14 and those words showed us that he is an honest person okay so now we have three pieces of evidence from the story that Chen is a good person. Now we need to find evidence to show that he was rewarded, that something good happened to him because he was hardworking and honest and brave. So let's go back to the story and let's see if we can find evidence of something good happening to Chen. Okay, let's see. Right here on the last page, it says, 
Chen and his mother went to live at the palace. This is on page number 15. That's one good thing that happened to Chen. Okay, so I'm going to put that here. Chen and his mother go to live at the palace. Age 15. That's a reward. Okay, that's something good. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, Chen became emperor. That's also found on page 15. Is that something good to become a leader? I agree. I think it's great. So let's add that. That's another piece of evidence of something good happening to Chen. Chen became the emperor. And that's on page 15. I think these are our only two pieces of evidence of a reward for Chen. But those are two pretty big things. So now we have proved that the author's message is good people are rewarded. Good things can happen to people who do good, um, good deeds, people who are good people. Um, let's see what we're going to have you do today. I would like for you at home today, draw a picture. So I want you to use whatever materials you have at home to draw a picture of something good that happens to Chen. Okay, what was his reward at the end of the story? You don't have to write a sentence today. I just want to see your picture of what happened to Chen in the story. All right. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. I can't wait to see your pictures. So please send them to me on WhatsApp or you can always um, send them as a message on Class Dojo, and I will see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone.